Hello everyone, it's time for the top 10 Gang Beasts costumes, yeah! Number 10. So number 10 is the pirate. Now the pirate doesn't really have his own map like some of the others do, but I still like it. it like they add the mustache that makes him look cool. And then they have the handkerchief in his, what's it called? I don't know, but it's the the hook that's my favorite. Believe it or not, the hook can actually grip onto things. Like, I'm not kidding. It's, you can try it out, it's pretty fun. Number nine. The cat suit is one of the most common costumes. So, you're most likely to find uh, someone wearing a cat costume in Gang Beasts than any other costume. I like it because it's cute. Look at that little face. It's so adorable. The little face, it's so cute. Number eight. The caped wrestler. Now, I don't know what it's actually called. I don't think any of the costumes have it, their own names. I, I just gave this one the cape wrestler because, you know, he has like a wrestling costume and like a cape in the back. I, I like this one because. Just the design is just really cool. Number seven. Number seven is the chef. I like the chef because of his apron, mostly, and his cute little hat. Now, the reason I'm showing you gameplay this time, because the previous entries, I didn't show you gameplay, just showing you the menu. Because my favorite thing about this, this costume is I love watching his apron flop around. Like... The physics is just so unrealistic, and it's so fun to watch. Uh, you can spin in circles, and you can watch it all day. Watch it all day. And when he jumps, it's even cuter. Like, really bad physics. Oh. Bye-bye. Number six. Number six is the Cheeseburger Man. Now, of course, he has the apron, like the other one. Which, of course... I like the apron, but my favorite part is the cheeseburger on his head. I love cheeseburgers, and it just looks so funny. Number five. Number five is the old lady. Now, I mean, I don't know why uh, this is in the middle of the list. It probably should should have been the first entry, but I don't, I don't really know. Um, I only I only really like it because um, it just looks good and. Uh, and I enjoy uh, yelling at the and en at the enemies when I'm playing a game, and like saying, "I'm an old woman. What's what's after old woman that's unarmed? Especially, don't do that. Don't attack me. I have grandchildren, you know." Number four. Number four is the police officer. Now, I like it because I, I can I can yell at the the enemies and saying. You're threatening an officer. Stop it. I, I can arrest you. Um, and I, I like doing that. Also, um, I, I, I like I like how all, he has all the detail. He's like a badge there. And there's like some sort of symbol there. I don't know what that means. I, th I think it's uh, some sort of British symbol. Because, you know, Gang Beast is a British game. But, and I love the amount of detail that was added into it. I really like it. Also, there's another version. It's basically the same thing except with hair. And I, I like that too. Number three. Number three is the sheriff. Now, I, I picked this one because it's similar to the police officer, which I like because I just told you. I like this one better though because he just looks way more cooler. Like he has the shades, he has the tie. He's just way cooler. Number two. Number two is this guy. I like this guy because he looks like one of those people that that like tries to act cool but fails at it. Like he has the really old eighties haircut and mullet and those glasses that are way too big and they fall off really easily. And you know, he he's not very good with detail and all that. Oh, but I still like him. He looks cool. I know I just said he fails at looking cool, but I take back what I said. And the number one costume for Gang Beast is... The Jello Man, or the Whipped Cream Man. 
or whatever else he is. I like this one because it looks like one of those things that took a long time to model. And it's just so mysterious. You don't know if he's whipped cream, jello, toothpaste. He can be anything. That's why I love this one. Because he could just be anything. And you and you can't you can't even take off the hat. You can't even take it off. So you, it's so mysterious and so cool at the same time. Thank you for watching. If there are any costumes you'd like but I didn't add in the video, be sure to tell me in the comments below. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe. Bye.